We, there we go. I don't know what happened. I restarted the modem, but it looks like we're back on. And that is what is important. So today, as soon as my camera starts moving, we're going to start the tutorial and it is part two. So instead of doing um, any a national scrapbook day, because there's so much going on and I know then you have to sit there and choose. Ugh, I wanted to start this today. Sorry about the camera moving. And we're going to create the cover and I'm going to go through this. This is with the what's cooking uh, collection um, exclusively by country craft creations. And so I did use one full collection kit on this. I didn't think I would use the whole collection and I ended up pretty much using it. And I, you know, I still need to go through because I, I'm wondering, I think, I really do think maybe I had just pulled two sheets of each design because you get three in the collection kit. And that's what um, I'm doing in my collection kits for Country Craft Creations. And we have such a great team working together on the, the, the graphics and um, a great graphics team. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of the Country Craft Creations exclusive collections. And there's three sheets of each design. And the nice thing with three sheets of each design, you don't have to go buying other collection kits. And another thing I want to show you that's going up on the website very soon is the buttons. And we have them now. I have them now in assorted colors, in assorted packs, so reasonable. And then you can choose the colors you want. This green is actually going to be up on the website this evening. The green, the red, the purples, you'll get to choose any of the colors you want. You don't have to buy any other color, but you'll just get a perfectly sized bag for two or three projects in the colors that you're wanting to use. So those will be going up very soon. We have so many new and exciting things that are coming. So I can't wait to share them all with you. But let me quickly share this project. I did a walkthrough on scrapbookers. And the cutting guide is also at the beginning of this video. And it's during the day, so I apologize, the dogs. This is a remake. What happened is Sally, um, was at my home for the retreat down in my studio and saw this and she insisted that we remake it. Of course, we had a lot of requests. So that's what we're doing. But it's such a fun project and it's one that you can make and get ready for Christmas so that you have these gifts. And also, it's the lay flat wrap method. And I'm going to show you how to attach all these different pieces. Hi, Cheryl. On the left hand side, you're going to just have a nice handy pocket. Now it's big. I'm not going to worry about getting it all in the camera except for this bottom where I did piece together the recipe cards just for interest. And then the recipe cards are not in the collection kit. And I did that for a purpose. You may want to buy one sheet, two sheets, or you may want to buy 20 sheets. You're going to want 20 sheets of these, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm already just loving them, the back side, because you can use the back side. The graphics were left off the back so that you can write on them. They come in the red, the pink, and you'll see the different colors as we're creating the album. But in this album, we will be just creating this cover today. Then next week, we will go through and put the waterfalls. And the, like I said, the cutting guide is there, but we'll put all these waterfalls together and I did use the coordinating cardstock packages, but I used four extra sheets right there of the polished stone. And that is the My Colors. So you definitely can purchase that one um, separate. And then you may want to purchase. I'm going to actually do this album again, but I'm going to use the new Tea in Wonderland because the Tea in Wonderland. Um, is going to be more of a pastry. So I thought that'd be really cute for a pastry and dessert. Hi, Carolyn um, album. So that will be my like dessert recipe album. Hi, Cindy Lou. I'm so glad you guys are here. And that's what we're going to do today is create our cover, the full walkthrough you'll see on Scrapbookers. And so let's get started. You want... And I'm going to go ahead with the banners. Um, if you're wondering what to order to create 
this album so linda let me go through and tell you you're going to need of course your lightweight your chipboard you will want lightweight chipboard i did reinforce the covers with lightweight chipboard under the waterfalls so you'll want your lightweight chipboard you want a collection kit yes one of everything you want a full collection kit well i only sell on full collection kits um of what's cooking now right now i do believe my what's cooking coordinating card stock is not on the website but it will be and you want to purchase the coordinating card stock plus sorry about the noise like my husband said warn him because of his hearing aids you're going to want to purchase the coordinating card stock now the only one that you're not going to see in here is pink and the red So I would purchase two packs of coordinating cardstock. They will be back up on the website this afternoon, but the coordinating has pink and red with it. But you're going to want at least three to four extra sheets of the My Colors to see how that's uh, called polished stone. It's just like the uh, stainless steel and it has that shine to it. So it's really super nice. Um, and I used extra sheets of that. And that is also the pink that I double matte the front with. I double map the back side with the red and then um, I used those coordinating on all of your waterfalls there's that polished stone because it matches the silver so you'll want extras of those and then however many sheets of the recipe card you want also oh, I didn't show you the glitter so I did use you see the glitter I put glitter on the front of all of these and I just used you can use a white a silver this is the it's just kind of a, a clear translucent one from our our glitter glue and that is what I used on this because it was so 70s I had to use it right so that's what you want to purchase and then any color cardstock that you want for the front and the back I mean not the front and the back that you want to create this whole album with it's been a while since i've done a live tutorial huh i've got to get my brains um in gear here so we're going to start with our chipboard and down at the bottom you want two nine by nine pieces of your chipboard and i'm sorry but i can't take that banner off the bottom then we need three three by nines two two by nines three three by nines it's a good size album you need um, a lot of space for this waterfall otherwise it's going to be no room for you to put anything in there at all and then i'm going to use score tape sheets right now i just i have four sheets I don't know if I'll use them all, but I'll be pretty close. Oh, okay. The silverware on the front. Let me just lay this down and then I'll tell you, Lila. The silverware on the front was actually a gift at this past retreat from, her name is Lynn. It was in, no, this is not all lightweight chipboard. This is heavy chipboard. The lightweight chipboard is what I built this on and it also reinforced my cover and then the lightweight chipboard is what we're going to build you can't see it of course but we build the waterfall on there so you need two lightweight chipboards lightweight chipboard would not hold this album it's too big it's heavy it's the heavy in my store this is the store uh, chipboard for my store the silverware it was a gift um, but I have to show you something that we have coming in and I have them coming in silver. They'll be here this week. So I do have, they're a little bit bigger and they're silver. I have all the colors coming in. So you definitely could use one of those spoons and I do have the forks that will match. They're a little different style is all. Um, these I believe were Tim Holt. She told me Lynn did. So we do have these coming and then you had a spoon also from your craftology box. 
and I have more of these coming in also to sell separate and they're just adorable and that's what Michelle uses on her so you could also have the small wooden spoons so you can have so many so many fun things with this collection okay I need to get this off here so with my score tape sheet we'll just put this on here and then I'll just piece it here at the bottom And that just needs that little piece. So I'll set him aside, use it for the others. So now we're just preparing the chipboard. Whatever you like to use is just fine. If you want to use score tape sheets, just regular score tape. You can prepare it now if you're going to just use your art glitter glue, of course, or any wet adhesive. You'll just want to wait and do each piece, of course. I'm going to go ahead and grab... This is a three by nine inch piece, so I just want to put this down here now. Whoops, I jumped out of my arm, my hand. piece and now we can just add and add your bits and pieces this one I'll just sort of piece along as I go and I'll grab my third sheet <laughs> is pumper giving you a run for your money Linda and I'm going to go the long way so it fits the whole size of my sheet Space there to get between my blade or get my blade between the chipboard. Hi, Sherry. No, I've got Wilbur out there just howling. So maybe he's howling for Pumper to come over, Linda. <laughs> I'm just going to use my score tape for that on the roll. Hi, Sally. Nice to see you. We'll save that for another project.
can set that aside. I have some um, bare score tape. Okay, you're going to want two pieces of cardstock. We'll wrap the big ones first. These are 11 by 11. Let's see if we can come up just a little bit higher. Nope. To get everything in. Nope, I am all the way out. Oh, you're getting your hair colored. Yeah, you got to get those witchy roots covered, don't you? Well, I'm going to want this one, so I might as well just leave it out. And so I'm going to use my one-inch spacers. And we'll start with our 9 by 9 chipboard. Uh-oh. <clears throat> okay. I don't know if you guys, it's going to pop up. My video was interrupted. If I happen to go out, it's because, I don't know, I think we're having some internet work. We did have a guy that, you know, your internet boxes down the street. Well, we went by and his fence had been melded. And the, the internet box was burnt. He plugged an external extension cord into it. Well, you know he's going to be in trouble. Uh, he did tell my husband his insurance has to pay for it. But I hope, I hope they're not working on the box or something. But how, you don't go plugging in to the public utilities and then not get in trouble. But it started his fence on fire. Oh, it was crazy. And I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Allergies. Uh, yes. You know what, Diane? It's nice to get back. I need to, I need to get back into, <laughs> I need, I need some uh, routine here. Definitely. Okay. That one is all set, ready. Uh, hi, Tiffany. And beautifully ready to go. Oh, I'm so glad you popped in, Tiffany. Tiffany is our May. Uh, special designer. Uh, she's our guest designer. And I can't wait for you to see her creations. You know, I need to have my knees replaced. <laughs> and I want them replaced. Actually, I do really good now that my foot was uh, fixed because I love to hike. And, you know, I got to keep up with Wilbur. But I don't, I can't deal with the downtime. Me and downtime are not friends. Okay, I just realized I didn't quite get to the edge, and I do want I do want to put some score tape there. Oh, hi, Gloria. Well, thank you. Um, I need to get back to it um, because this is also this is my sanity <laughs> um, doing this with you guys. Um, Mickey, the walkthrough is on one of my past lives. So it was just where I was showing. If you go up into the videos on Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, because it's not on YouTube. And if you go up into videos or photos and then media, you'll see the walkthrough. All right. So now we're just going to go ahead and wrap these two big pieces. Where have I been? Well, we had a retreat and I was busy with that. And then I've had some, some family things that I had to take care of. And um, gosh, well, mostly the retreat just really, we had the virtual B retreat and then we had the actual physical retreat and then I had some family, um, things I had to take care of my kids 
and they had to be taken care of before I could, you know, get back, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies are terrible right now to get back into the swing of things, but I think they're there. And been just super busy with, you know, the creation of the new paper lines for Country Craft Creations and working with all my different designers now and graphic designers and it's been super, super busy. Even my tools have missed me. <laughs> So now I'm going to cut my squares out of each corner. And as long as, well, as long as I know for me, if I just cut the corner out right to that chipboard, I don't ever have to worry about any holes. So... Um, this is a method if you haven't tried, and that's one reason I redid. Oh, that, oh, thank you, Sherry. Yeah, that too. The magazine will be coming out. I had a photo shoot with a, with a Utah magazine here, so I was busy with that too, yes. <laughs> um, if you haven't, oh, the, the old video to this, there's an old one I did with Graphic 45, and I have to tell you, though, this is, I'm doing the method different because this is the only way now I like to make my album covers. And if it doesn't work for you and you don't like this method, you still can make your album cover the long, you know, where you hook it all together. You don't have to do it this way and it will still work. I just want to let you guys know. And then um, meeting with one of our own uh, people who actually owns a printing company. And one thing um, we are doing different because you're going to notice the black. You might have a little bit of problem. We're putting humidifiers in our warehouse uh, because during this heat, once in a while, you're going to get a little bit of um, popping, especially on the black. And you're going to want humidity also in your house. Utah is very dry. Oh, <laughs> well, Linda, I don't either, <laughs> but I have a great team now that that kind of helps me and keeps me straight. Well, they keep me pretty much on track. Yes, Tiffany, and that was the other thing that always bothered me on long albums like this. You just never knew where your seam was going to end up. And then again, it became so hard to work on that um, you need a super long surface for an album like this. Okay, now I'm just going to check all my corners. They're mitered. But gosh, use any, use any that works for you. You know, it does not have to be, it does not have to be this way. But I always put the art glitter glue along that edge of chipboard. And then um, art glitter glue works just fine. And also, if you didn't see the post, uh, Tiffany Higgins is our guest designer for May. So I'm really excited to see what she makes. And Tiffany... Please post the link to your YouTube. I'm so sorry. I can't remember what you go. I, I, I know your YouTube, but it slipped my mind. Because I want you guys all to go to her page and give her some love. Lots of it. Lots of it. Subscribe. You're going to love her projects. And let's just really show her, you know, some great response. Because you never know. Our guest designers... We usually keep in mind, so let's give her a lot of support here, guys. Of course, we always make sure they want to. Oh, it's called Let's Get Scrappy on YouTube. So after this tutorial, or if you've got more than one screen open and your cell phone and like many crafters do, just pop on over and subscribe to her YouTube channel. 
and you know i hope you there's some, there really is so much beautiful scrapbook paper out there simple stories echo park cartabella um but you're going to see me working a lot with mine <laughs> i just i'm loving all the designs and um but i gotta not be so i know i gotta get some of those other tutorials out there too with other paper lines but i'm just having so much fun with these I hope you guys are liking the new designs. And when we're done with the tutorial, I'm going to show you the new 8x8 baby girl dream. Or I've got the baby boy dreams down here with me. So I want to show you um, the baby boy dreams in 8x8. It's so adorable. The little tiny characters. Just wait till you see the little animals. so cute Tiffany so there is one of my covers just beautifully wrapped ready to go you'll see how nice and I just love it because there's no gaps anywhere let's so we're going to do the exact same thing to our second one and I do always burnish that edge Oh, thank you, Debbie. I'm really enjoying them. And we have a lot more planned, a lot more waiting to be printed. And now I kind of feel so silly. I was so nervous about this new venture. But you guys have been so great to support it. Thank you. Okay, once you are done with the scoring or the you know forming your cardstock or the chipboard the squares are automatically formed which is nice because that just gives you a nice guide to follow and cut those out um for the what's cooking, I don't have any charms yet. I know the lady, uh, Luann, who owns Butterby Scrap, she's just adorable. Um, she does work full time. And she also, you know, has her little store, Butterby Scraps. And I, I need to talk to her about getting some more dangled charms. But to be honest with you, she's had some trouble keeping up. <laughs> Not only with the demand, but um, with just getting the supplies but her dangle charms are darling so as soon as i get off jan i will give her a call and i'll let you know on that so as you can see i'm using the chipboard basically as my guide to miter my corners and i do go over that a little more thorough because I do this every tutorial. But let me just kind of give you this. if you use your cards, your chipboard as your stopper and just angle in, you'll never cut that too short. And as soon as you get all four corners mitered, you're ready to go. Um, we do have some darling little teapots by Prima. They were made for the uh, My Sweet line, and they are still in the store. Yes, little teapots are so cute with this. And, of course, all the designers have been working with this. And there's been some awesome designs that you can find on the YouTube channels. And if you go to the website, countrycraftcreations.com, Click on About Me, and all of our designers are listed along with their YouTube channels. So you can go check out their creations. 